Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use HDR Light Studio plugin for SolidWorks Visualize. Um, so um, right, I've been using the HDR Light Studio, I just bought the student version and I've been trying it out and I'm actually getting some good results from it so I just wanted to share with everyone. Um, so when you, you, where you can install it is you go to the LightMap website um, they have the 15 day trial and they ha also have like the student version and you can also buy the license. I think it's definitely a must have for SolidWorks Visualize because it, it works, it helps your, it helps you light your scene much better and faster and efficient. And once you have everything installed and activated, um, so everything works perfectly with SolidWorks Visualize so you really don't have to do anything extra. You just have to download it and install and activate it. Um, so let's say you're starting with a project and you install, I mean, you import your part into your scene. Um, then, and you set your material, let's say you set your scene, then let's just uh, maybe snap that to flow and go into our appearance. We add our appearance. I'm just gonna delete or unuse appearance, uh, maybe um, unify that unify all appearance and then once say you add your material you've add your material and the next thing you go into your scene so right now I have the regular HDR that comes with SolidWorks Visualize and let's say you want to light your scene with H HDR Light Studio so what you do is you right click and once you have it installed on your computer SolidWorks Visualize will automatically pick it up um, so right here you can see that there is the new HDR Light Studio button Yeah, I can either click on this button or I can right click and I can click new HDR Light Studio and the plugin is going to open up and it works um, it works together with your, with your um, SolidWorks Visualize so I'm just going to minimize it for a second and maybe just to try to fit everything on my screen um so now that i have everything on my screen maybe i'll drag that out a little bit just to make my cup a little bit bigger good um so now the hdr light studio is is the um is active and that is what is currently using to light my scene and you as you can see it's checked over here and right now my scene is light with the gradient map with the gradient background so if I uncheck this it pretty much um, my scene is dark and I can start lighting it however I want but the when you start HDR Light Studio the gradient background um, it starts with a gradient background so I usually like start working with that and if I need to delete it later on I can delete it and add something else to the background um, so I'm just going to show you this is just going to be real, um, very quick, just uh, give you a preview, um, an overview of what I've learned so far using it. Um, these are your lights, different lights you can add to the scene. So when you have hover over it, it shows you what it tells you what type of lights they are. So they pretty much are the same lights, but the the same light but different shapes. So this is a round light. This is a rectangular light. Down here, these are the different backgrounds you can add. You can have the gradient background, the picture background, and the sky, the sky background, and so on. And over here is when you add your lights, you can adjust them. This is like to scale it in all direction. This is to scale it on uh, either left or right. This is to scale it the height. This is rotate. This is to adjust your your light brightness. Um, so right down here, these are your light presets. So when you um, HDR Light Studio comes with um, hundreds of light presets. Because I have the student version right now, as you can see up here, it says there's an educational version. I, it only comes with these lights, but when I do buy the the full license one, I will have all these light prefer, uh, presets, sorry. And these are pretty much the uh, realistic real life lights that you can just add to your scene immediately and to start lighting your scene. And right next to it, um, it is pretty much the properties of your light. So pretty much when you scale it, your light up is the same thing as this settings over here. 
you have your brightness and you have your opacity opacity is pretty much making the light transparent so you can see through it and over here you have the colors for the light you can adjust it so let, i will just start um, adding lights to my scene just to show you how it works so i'll double click on this light and as you can see the light is added to my scene over here and it's also had over here so i can drag it in here and as i'm dragging it it's going to change in my scene or i can just click on the path directly wherever i want to light and it's going to add the light there so i can scale the light up and as you can see when i scale it up it updates in the and i can maybe scale it to the right and i can um, right here move the light along the longitude and you can see the light is moving over there so maybe i'll just click right there on that edge and maybe a little bit out and uh, maybe scale the light down and i'm just going to add my light over there so i'm just this is not going to be a detailed render i'm just trying to show you how the light works um so i can adjust my brightness increase it and it's going to change over there decrease it um so i can let me add one more light um i can either use this light again um, add it over there back there scale it up and as you can see as i'm scaling it up the light is pretty much affecting my my part how however i'm clicking on it or however the size of the light is and another thing you need to know is when you light your scene, there are three different ways you can um, use the light in your scene. Um, in SolidWorks Visualize, you can see this option is now added to the HDR Light Studio. You have the reflection, you have the illumination, and you have the rim. So I was doing the reflection. So the reflection is when you just add the light to your scene and it reflects on your part. Illumination lights your scene but it doesn't reflect i mean lights your part it doesn't reflect so let's say i select the illumination and that last light i, I add is still there and when i click on that surface um the light would affect the part differently so you can see it's it's still reflecting a little bit but the um the properties of the light is doing something different so if i click on back to reflection and i click on my scene again you see that is actually reflecting on this. So um, the next one is the rim. The rim is just you can use it to it has a rim around your light, and you can see the back. So the it's pretty much lighting the background, and it right has a rim around your light. So when we come up here to our light, these are the different lights we have in our scene right now. These buttons right here are pretty much to turn it off. So if I click any of it, it turns the light off in my scene. And right next to it, this is to isolate the light. So if I click on this button, it shows me what that light is doing in my scene. Um, so it turns off the rest of the light and shows me what that light is doing in my scene. So I click on this, it's just showing me what that light is doing in my scene. And that's pretty much what that is. And so those are the two buttons that I work with the most and i've already explained what these lights are so let's just go back to reflection mode and just add a couple of lights um let me let's say i want to add this light just to give it like some tone and it's reflecting on on it so i can i can scale it up a little bit and i can just click over there and you can see it's adding the tone to it um just click somewhere right there um so the next thing let's add one more light and i'm just showing you just real quick how it works so uh, we're going to maybe not scale it scale it down but over here i can increase the height as i'm increasing the height the, the properties is changing over here and I can click on that edge and it's going to light up that edge or the inside and it's going to pretty much affect the scene so I'm just going to click on the edge and I'm going to add one more light 
and um, I'm going to increase the height and uh, maybe move it along the longitude and as you can see as I'm dragging this bar it's pretty much affecting it over there so I just click over there so once you have all your lights um, the way you want it and you're done so right now this light are actually roll low resolution lights they are not um, high res because just to allow you to work efficiently is low res uh, resolution but when you do your final render it is going to be high, high resolution so so another thing you need to be aware of is right now i have the background for my hdr light studio so let's say i want to use regular light um, background in solidworks visualize i can still uncheck this show environment image and it's going to still leave your light in the same but delete the background and you can adjust your light you just like uh, your regular SOLIDWORKS visualize workflow and you can pretty much change your put the background of your light however you want it and let's just say you that's what you want you would select that and now what we just need to do is render this out so you will come over here this is render and this is re render let's say you render it out and you need to change your light you change your light you just come back and press this button and it's going to re-render it and save it over the last one so i'm just going to click render um, so um, this option box comes up and you can pick the resolution so i usually just use the 3000 by 1500 um, everything else you leave it uh, stays the same you browse to where you want to save it so let's just say my desktop and i'm just gonna do uh, cut. save it as the file name click save and the next thing is once all that is done we just click render and the rendering environment map is going to is rendering over here so once that is done is going to you will see it change to the high res that i was telling you about so you can see it changed now so that's pretty much how you use the hdr light studio from from here on out once you're done with it you can stop it here so next time let's say you come back into your work and you want to start working in your studio hdr light studio you can click on the uh, the the HDR Light Studio in your scene and click the start button. You can pause it and you can stop. So now let's say I, I'm done. I'm just gonna click the stop button and the HDR Light Studio is gonna close. And I'm just going to maximize my screen. And from here on out, I can just continue working. Uh, maybe I'll go to my camera, adjust my camera, uh, the post processing and all that stuff. Then from there on out, I just go into my final render and render it out. Um, I find that this is very efficient and it works. It works um, magic. And when it comes to lighting your scene, I think it, in my opinion, I'll be definitely be using it um, as I do more projects in SolidWorks Visualize. Um, so that's just the basics of it, how to use HDR Light Studio to light your scene. Uh, thanks guys for watching and if you have used it and you know some tricks and how to work with HDR Light Studio efficiently, please feel free to share with me. I would love to learn from you. So thank you guys. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know uh, what you think. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.